Good afternoon, YouTubers. Still out here in the uh, Phnom Penh city, right close by the uh, Royal Palace and the, uh, I guess the National Museum. So I got hungry and I told one of the uh, food stalls sent her before that I was gonna go ahead and check out her Thai food place. Uh, pretty reasonable price. So I wanted to give it some action to see, you know, is it worth it? So I just got me a simple Pad Thai plate, about $2.50. And I'm surprised because the previous seller She's the older lady. I was, I was expecting her to uh, be the cook, but I guess she got this younger person that uh, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with her cooking the food, but you know, I got to go ahead and give it a shot, see what happens. But you know, I, I told her I wanted the pad thai. She didn't know what it was, so that's what gave me the <laughs> the hesitation. But she's cooking it right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and see how this place stacks up. I mean, it's street food, cheap. Okay. So while we're waiting for the food, probably just gonna do, this is uh, the art district of Phnom Penh. Right besides the National Museum, you got all these uh, arts, I'll show you. So here's the National Museum right here. But there's the uh, big old hotel that opened up. I think it's the Hyatt Regency. They opened up right down the street. Plus, I guess they got some other work being done right here on this uh, area right here. Very expensive location, very busy foot traffic. I, I got me um, a, a passion soda. All good. Yum, nene. Okay, the moment of truth. Let me go ahead and see. Thai food box. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and have a seat and see what we're working with. All right, folks, two dollars and fifty cents for pad thai in a box. Let me go ahead and just take a look at it real quick. I could definitely see uh, I'm not going to be favorable because <laughs> you know you could tell by the texture, the quality of the ingredients just by looking at it and. Uh, it has a bland look on it. You can, like I said, you can tell by the uh, the color and the looks of the food before you taste it. So this one, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna be really picky. It's two dollar fifty cents on the street. Um, I was hoping it would be like the classic Thai street stall, fresh and hot, but we're in Cambodia, not Thailand. 
So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's supposed to be really cooked, uh, hot and sizzling right now. There's nothing, nothing sizzling about this right here. Okay, here it goes. I don't have that kick of the uh, sweet and sour taste. Very bland. Pad Thai has a sweet and sour lemony taste to it, citrus acid, and some peppers um, on there. So, like I said, once I saw the the product, I already knew that it wasn't going to be all that great. But you know, like I said, two dollars fifty cent. I'm pretty sure I could get this cheaper in Thailand and it tastes way better. Shrimp was definitely not fresh. You know, you could definitely taste the freshness in the shrimp if it was fresh. It's not. I have yet to find a location, street food or restaurant wise in Cambodia, that just knocks your socks off. <coughs> I've just been getting a medio mediocre quality. So Anybody that knows about Cambodia, Phnom Penh in general, comment below. Let me know where some of the places I can get some really good food at. Because California, Los Angeles, is like the food mecca of the world. All these different culinary treats you know, that's that's what's really hard when you start off on a high level like living in Los Angeles and trying different food like um, Caribbean food Mexican food Persian food it's really authentic so I'm still gonna try to find that I you know in Cambodia like I said I have yet to find a location that really knocks my socks off and say, wow, this is really good. I don't really care about the price or this is really good for the, the budget, for the, the money. And I'm on the riverside. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I had Pad Thai before. You got to have the sweet and sour taste to it with the, with the lime and the peanuts. This feels like another uh, noodle plate. They call it Mikatang um, in Cambodia. It feels just like another one of that with uh, with shrimp. Hi, right, folks. Like I said, I was I was walking by the other day. I already had the, it was the day that I had the pizza, so I told the owner I was gonna drop by later on a different day to give her her stall a try. And so I came back today, and uh, nothing special. Uh, no, nothing special. I was hoping for something special. You know, really hot. Not really hot, but in terms of like quality. Comes in, 
off the walk uh, citrusy flavor but two dollar fifty cents is what the the pay the price is what you expect not so great but you know like I said for the money this is what you should expect comment let me know folks where is the bomb food places and pumping okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish my little lunch and uh, we'll go from there peace out